welcome all the media friends. Mm. I am happy to announce that uh, on uh, 12th of uh, March, Honorable Prime Minister is going to inaugurate a large scale of uh, projects at various locations across the country. Since Indian Railways is committed to upgrade the infrastructure of the entire country and also of Andhra Pradesh in particular, to bolster this initiative, the Prime Minister will be dedicating projects worth of Rs. 85,000 crores and flag off several trains on 12th of March 2024. As a part of it, 133 OSOP stalls, 3 PM Gati Shakti terminals, 7 good sheds, 1 PM Jan Aushadi Kendra, 2 rail coach restaurants, 12 sections of doubling third line and bypass projects, an introduction of two Vande Bharat between Sikandrabad and Vishakapatnam, Sec sorry, second Vande Bharat between Vishakapatnam and uh, Sikandrabad are being taken up in the state of Andhra Pradesh. As a part of this mega projects, three upgraded good sheds of Vijayawada are Tanuku, Vikkavalu and Elluru. And there are 16 OSOP stalls which will be for which the function will be held at 16 uh, different locations and along with uh, Gudur Bitragunta third line, uh, Bitragunta Karavadi Chirala third line and uh, Vijayawada bypass line are being dedicated to the nation. The biggest news is introduction of the second Vande Bharat between Sikandrabad and Vishakapattam. Uh, this train will depart from Sikandrabad at 5, uh, five, five past 5 in the morning and reach uh, Vishakapatnam at around 13.50. The first uh, Vande Bharat which was running between these pair of cities was a big hit and uh, uh, was very popular among the commuters and was having almost 120 percent occupancy. This has been the preferred choice of the youth and the techies for uh, the reduced travel time, punctuality and its ambience. This is the fourth Vande Bharat which will ply on Vijayawada division. The response has been overwhelming to the trending set of wheels across the nation. This would cater the passengers of the busiest section of Vishakapatnam, Vijayawada and Sikandrabad. The three lines which are being dedicated to the nation on 12th of March 2024, that is Gudur to Bitragunta third line, uh, Bitragunta Karavadi Chirala third line and Vijayawada bypass line, as a part of tripling works, a total 209 kilometer out of 288 kilometer has been electrified and commissioned. The project cost is worth Rs. 3,246 crores. Indian Railways is pleased to announce that significant developments regarding the enhancement of good sets of Indian Railways aimed at bolstering the freight operations across the country. Recently, the Ministry of Railways accorded approval of Rs. 150 crores for upgradation of 15 good sheds across Vijayawada division. These good sheds are at uh, Tadapalli Gudam, Bayavaram, Bikolu, Dwarapudi, Pagudupadu, Samalkot, Krishna Canal, Eluru, Kudivada, Tenali, Nedadabolu, Palakolu, Akividu, and Tanuku. The second uh, Vande Bharat, uh, which is being introduced, uh, this train will be taking the routes uh, from Sikandrabad via Kazipet, Vijayawada and uh, Rajamundri and the commercial stoppages are being provided at Varangal, Khammam, Vijayawada, Rajamundri and Samalkot. Uh, it will start at 5 past 5 am from Sikandrabad and uh, it will reach Vijayawada at 9 past 5 in the morning. So that way for, for between Vijayawada and Sikandrabad also this will be a very popular since by 9 o'clock in the morning, we, we will be reaching Vijayawada. It will depart at 9.10 from Vijayawada and reaching uh, Rajamundri at 11 o'clock and finally to Vishakapatnam at 13.50. Similarly, from Vishakapatnam, it will start at around 2.35 p.m. and uh, it will reach Rajamundri at 4.40. Uh, from Rajamundri to Vijayawada, it will reach uh, at 6.40 p.m. And finally, it will be reaching Sikandrabad at around 11.20 p.m. 
I hope this is also uh, becoming, this train will also become as popular as the previous train. The three mega projects which we are uh, dedicating to the nation uh, is the third line between Gudur and Betagunta. The track length was around 77 kilometers and the cost uh, was 1,243 crores. There were 16 major bridges, 160 minor bridges, the rail over rail of 2.1 kilometer long and 12 new station buildings. Whereas between uh, Bitragunta to Karavadi, the length was around 88 kilometers, cost was 1,576 crores of rupees, wherein 31 major bridges have been constructed, 132 minor bridges and 9 new station buildings have been constructed. And final section which was recently opened was between Kar Karavadi to Chirala. The track length was around 125 kilometer. Cost of the revised estimate was 3,280 crores. There are 18 major bridges in this section, 106 minor bridges and 23 new station buildings. Similarly, the Vijayawada bypass line, uh, that is a rail over rail line, uh, is having a total length of 21.6 kilometers. The cost is 475 crores. Uh, and here also some 8 major bridges and uh, 10 minor bridges are involved. Uh, the good sheds which will be uh, dedicated to the nation and inaugurated on 12th March are very important part of the freight ecosystem of Indian Railways. In fact, the main aim of this entire uh, planning and investment is uh, to expand the good shed network of Indian Railways to Im improve the good shed infrastructure of Indian rail Railways. Th that gives us an enhanced capacity of freight handling and also try to do some technological inte uh, integration and to streamline the processes to increase the overall efficiency of our uh, goods train. What profit it will give to our freight customers? First, improved accessibility. Uh, the roads toward good shed will be uh, better for high uh, axle load of trucks we can fly. Uh, there will be reduced transit time. There will be enhanced safety measures. They will have a cost efficiency and overall environmental sustainability. So this good shed development of uh, Vijayawada division wherein we are inaugurating three good sheds. Uh, first is Elluru, where the cost of development was 2.5 crores. Normally, uh, we are loading uh, government rice by FCI and AP civil supplies. Uh, the, it has, we have developed this good shed with a cement concrete surface and the cost of this good shed is around 2.5 crores. Second good shed is Tanuku. The cost of development is five, uh, 5 crores. Here also government rice and trade rice is uh, loaded and uh, concrete surface has been provided for the loading area of the two lines. Along with that there will be Hamali rooms, merchant rooms and our office CGSR office. Provision of open sheds with shower bathing facility, provision of drinking water facility, two wheeler parking site and provision of high mask lighting. Similarly, third good shed is Bikovalu, wherein the cost of development is 2.5 crore rupees. Uh, here also uh, government rice, trade rice and CS lies in containers is loaded. Uh, this is, uh, it's a development of container handling terminal. Uh, sleeper matting has been provided in the container handling area. Here also drinking water facility, high mass lighting and other facilities have been provided. And last but not the least is the one station one product initiative by Indian Railways. This initiative was launched by Honorable Prime Minister and uh, it is a vision of our Honorable Prime Minister and it is aimed at promoting local products, empowering the artisans, the Vishwakarmas and fostering economic development across the nation. The main objective is uh, uh, of this OSOP uh, one station one product initiative is to transform railway stations into hubs for promoting indigenous products, thereby contributing to the vocal for local campaign. Uh, one unique product will be showcased at each station, uh, highlighting India's cultural diversity and heritage. 
currently in the country 728 stations across 21 states and three union territories are participating in this one station one product initiative with uh, 785 outlets established to promote local products. Uh, initially it was launched as a 15 day pilot project, now it has been successfully running all over the country. Uh, the benefits which artisans will get through this scheme is that they will get a platform, uh, railway is connected to the country and uh, people from all parts of the nation <coughs> comes to the railway station. So their products will get a wide uh, coverage, a wider audience fostering economic growth and preserving traditional crafts. It will boost the local economy. Uh, we have collaborated with the NGOs, private enterprises to ensure the success and sustainability of our OSOP initiative. By promoting locally made products, OSOP stimulates the economic activity in the rural and the semi-urban areas, generating employment opportunities and empowering the communities. Our Vijayawada division, currently we are having 67 OSOP outlets across uh, 66 stations, wherein there are 45 uh, OSOP stalls and 22 OSOP trolleys. And uh, various products which are being uh, showcased and uh, which are being traded are uh, jute bags, girijan products, pedana kalamkari saris and handlooms, imitation jewellery, seashell art, rice art, processed and semi-processed food, Kandapalli toys, wooden toys, Udayagiri, wooden cutlery, herbal products and many more. Vijayawada division believes that OSOP initiative will not only contribute to the economic well-being of local communities but also serve as a platform to preserve and celebrate the rich cultural diversity of this region. So this was our uh, plan for the 12th of March wherein Honorable Prime Minister will simultaneously through remote video conferencing inaugurate all these uh, new OSOP stalls, good sets and new lines will be dedicated to the nation. Uh, thank you. Uh, program, uh, program will be around 9 o'clock in the morning. We have invited all the public representatives as per the protocol, uh, right from our Honorable Governor to the Honorable Chief Minister and to the, all the member of uh, parliaments, all the MLAs, MLCs, mayors, Jilla Parishad presidents, uh, right up to the Sarpanch also. Uh, and uh, these functions are uh, being held at various locations, so as per their uh, convenience and their jurisdiction, uh, they, they are yet to, many of them are yet to confirm their attendance. crores. Karavadi Chirala is 3,280 crores and Vijayawada bypass line is uh, around 475 crores. So this is the major uh, investment. Apart from that, uh, immediately this uh, Vande Bharat, it cannot be quantified division wise. These are and uh, OSOP stalls are uh, our own real estate, so we cannot quantify it. Good shit, sir. Project level is Shumar Gai, Anubhai is well put. In the Lubhanga, Andhra Pradesh law, Nodopa Mudu, one station, one product stall, no, Alaga Mudu PM Gatshekti terminals, no, Yudu good sheds, no, Alaga Waka, Pradhan Mantri, Janosha the Kandra, no, Rendu rail coach restaurant, no, Alaga, Pandin to new doubling or third line and bypass line project, no, Taraman Chapotanar, Leda, Jati Kankan Chapotanar, Alaga. Uh, Rindu one one day Bharat, uh, uh, second one day Bharat, uh, train between uh, uh, Sikindrabad, Vishak Patan Maja, Dan Gud Prada Mitchell and Jarutundi. Idulo Banga, Vijayawara Division Law, Shumarga uh, Mudu uh, Good Shetland Pram uh, Jadi Kankan Jay Burtundi, Alake <coughs> Nalu Jotla, New Lailano, and take Guduru, Betterkunta Third Lano, Betterkunta Karavadi, Chirala Third Lano, Alake Vijayawara Bypass uh, uh, Line Kuda. 
జాగ్రత్తకి అంకితం చేయబోతున్నారు ఇందులో భాగంగా సుమారుగా అరవై ఏడు వన్ స్టేషన్ వన్ ప్రోడక్ట్ స్టాళ్ళను కూడా జాతికి అంకితం చేయబోతున్నారు ముఖ్యమైనటువంటి ఇందులో కార్యక్రమంలో భాగం ఏంటంటే రెండో వందే భారత్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ట్రైన్ సికింద్రాబాద్ విశాఖపట్నం మధ్య ఏదైతే ప్రారంభించబోతున్నారో మీ అందరికీ తెలుసు ఒక ట్రైన్ ఆల్రెడీ విశాఖపట్నం సికింద్రాబాద్ మధ్య నడుస్తోంది దానికి మంచి ప్రోత్సాహం లభించడం వల్ల రెండవ ట్రైన్ కూడా ప్రారంభించడం జరిగింది ఇది రెండవ ట్రైను సుమారుగా సి సికింద్రాబాద్ నుంచి విశాఖపట్నం మధ్యలో ఐదు హాల్స్ ఇవ్వటం జరిగింది వరంగల్ ఖమ్మం విజయవాడ రాజమండ్రి సామర్లకోట ఈ ట్రైన్ కూడా సికింద్రాబాద్లో ఐదు గంటల ఐదు నిమిషాలకు ప్రారంభమయ్యి విశాఖపట్నం ఒంటి గంట యాభై నిమిషాలు ఒంటి గంట యాభై నిమిషాలకు చేరుతుంది అలాగే తిరుగు ప్రయాణంలో రెండు గంటల ముప్పై ఐదు నిమిషాలకు విశాఖపట్నంలో బయలుదేరి పదకొండు గంటల ఇరవై నిమిషాలు రాత్రి పదకొండు గంటల ఇరవై నిమిషాలకు సికింద్రాబాద్ చేరుతుంది అలాగే మధ్యలో విజయవాడ వెళ్ళే ప్రయాణంలో పద తొమ్మిది గంటల పది నిమిషాలకు అలాగే తిరుగు ప్రయాణంలో ఆరు గంటల నలభై ఐదు నిమిషాలకు విజయవాడ బయలుదేరుతుంది విజయవాడ నుంచి ఈ కార్యక్రమంలో భాగంగా సుమారుగా పంతొమ్మిది చోట్ల మేము కార్యక్రమాన్ని నిర్వహించడం జరుగుతుంది మీడియా ముఖంగా నా మనం ఏంటంటే అందరూ కూడా ఈ కార్యక్రమంలో పాలు పంచుకొని జయప్రదం చేయమని కోరుకుంటున్నాం థ్యాంక్ యూ